Cool. Now, it's, it's what you're here for. Sure. Now, you got some really good Doc Martens here. <laughs> uh, I've got the shoe right, haven't I? You have. All right. Do you want to give us a look? And, um, Sweet. Just Why not? Sh- throw it up. All you, right. I'll see what we can see here. So what do we got there? Okay. Well, this is, uh, this is a tribute to one of the greatest manga of all time. It's called Akira. Uh, it was uh, 1988 in mm-hmm. Japan. Um, I... Sp- I was just look. I was doing. I was doing some browsing at DFO here in Brisbane. Saw a bin full of shoes. Chuck us the other one there. Saw a bin full of shoes, and this is what I found. I found these for like thirty dollars or something, and I yeah. went, "That's fantastic. Got to have them." Took it home, had a bit of a think about it, and it's the same process that I use in terms of. I've got a shoe. It's red. What visually works yeah. with this shoe? And this is what I came up with. So yeah, that's pretty impressive. Thanks, mate. Yeah, you yeah, know it's and they're pretty very... com- they're pretty comfy shoes too. Yeah, you were. I noticed. I said uh, you're wearing a pair of your own <laughs> yeah, artwork. Yeah. I have and, to. I have to. And I, and I said, I said, nice shoes. Where'd you get those? <laughs> what else have you got there? Uh, okay, we've got a bit of a. You see, so you started to do some three D stuff, so that's got some foam and things on it. So you, yeah. you've gone from just being uh, the art directly painted onto the canvas, and I'll flip this around. Um, Give them a little bit of a look. Yeah, cool. So you've gone on this side. You've got some three D artwork there on the shoe. Yeah. So you want to speak to? Okay. Essentially, with the three D stuff, look, it's been a process in terms of being able to work out how best to use materials. Um, I came across great substance called EVA foam. Really mm-hmm. easy to work with. Um, and and as you said, it, it makes things stand out visually. Now the process behind it was really really easy but at the same time involved and it's been an evolution Uh, i started doing it on caps first that seemed to work okay Um, i thought look i could probably do this on some shoes but i've just got to work out the logistics of how do i do it Uh, most of the time it's walking away Mm -hmm. works really really well yeah because it gives you an opportunity to clear the head yeah uh, you come back to it half an hour later and you go, right, that's exactly what I need to be able to do. Now, you can't, I can't explain that process because mm-hmm. most of the time I don't know if I've got a blank pair of shoes, okay, what's going to happen with these ones? But I want to do something that's unique and different. Yeah. So, the so these ad- are one-offs? Absolutely one-offs, So yeah. if someone loves this genre or the anime or, yeah. or manga or whatever it may be, yep. they literally... Uh, can ask you to produce something for them Certainly. under a contract yep. um, they might be a fan of and or uh, you can they can purchase stuff from your Facebook shop yep. you, you actually have pricing up there if they yep. like something go browse through yep. your Facebook everything that I put up on my Facebook page and especially on the shop is obviously for sale yes. uh, now the issue becomes whether they're going to fit their feet yeah, but so, some people want to display them too. You, you like them. You absolutely. like them to wear them because yeah. they're a talking point. Yeah. They're, they're they're a, a bubbler moment or yeah. water cooler moment, as yeah. they say, or, or they're remarkable. Something people will comment on, and yeah. yours do stand out. I can't get you to put your feet up, but as as you're walking in Loved earlier, it. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> put your feet up, mate. Uh, you walked in, and I and I, look, and I said they look great. They're, look, they're and there's a brief really that I give customers and potential clients mm-hmm. every time, uh, yeah. and I do this at my market store, and I do it certainly when I'm having discussions with people, and it's very very simple. I'm like, look, there's two ways of going about this this process. Do you want to wear them, or do you want to display them? Yeah. As soon as they say, oh, I just want to display them, then yeah. the creative process amps up. Mm-hmm. I can pretty much do anything, anything that them. I like. Thanks for taking time to watch this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you smash that subscribe button and also hit the bell button to get notified when new interviews are uploaded. Once again, thanks for joining us and hopefully we'll see you again sometime. Catch you later.